How's it going, Eliminators? Today, we're gonna to be having a quick look at a yard machine's riding lawnmower that won't start. So let's get right into it. So we picked up this yard machines mower here. This is made by MTD and it has the design where it doesn't have a blade disengage or engagement idler. Basically the way that the deck system works is when you lower down your deck, the deck moves back farther, which puts tension on the belt. Now there's a couple safety switches here. There's gonna be one for your deck, then there's gonna be one for the brake pedal and then there should be one for the seat switch right down there. So the issue that my customer was having was that when he turned the key, the engine wouldn't start. Sometimes it would click, but basically he said it didn't sound like the starter was turning over. So I have the machine in park here and the transmission is in neutral. So I'm gonna come over to the key and I'm just gonna to try to turn it over. You can hear the fuel solenoid clicking and nothing's happening at the key. So one of the main design flaws of these mowers is this is your deck lever right here and your deck lever bracket just wears out and it allows this deck lever to slide forward ever so slightly. So you're gonna notice that if I pull back on this lever, it has another maybe half an inch that it can go. And what that does is it disengages your deck safety switch. And just to show you guys, I went ahead and wedged a washer in there just to pull that lever back a little bit. So now when I go ahead to turn the key over, It fires up every time. So that's, like I said, just a design flaw. They really probably didn't think about that. This piece of steel here isn't hardened steel, so it's gonna be a soft steel that wears out over time. And uh, that's just, like I said, a design flaw, guys. Now, one of the quick and easiest ways of uh, adjusting this, if you don't wanna buy like a new bracket, is you're gonna come to the front of these holes where the bolts are. So you're gonna remove the bolts, remove the bracket, and you're gonna take a Dremel on the front side of those bolts. And by grinding out the front of the holes there, you're gonna allow yourself to move that entire bracket backwards, which will then push on this lever here farther. Or if you had a welder, you can go in here and just lay in some weld to build up that section there. But you guys can see just what I'm talking about. You know, that side there, it's a nice 90 degree square in there. And then you come to this one and you guys can see that it's all just kind of worn out from all the years of engaging and disengaging. So a couple ways to, to fix it. You know, like I said, Dremel the holes and rotate the bracket, but then you're gonna keep wearing that down and eventually you're gonna have to either weld it or just get a new piece. So you guys can see here that every edge is pretty much a nice clean rectangle. So what I did was I went ahead and just laid in some weld there and built up that edge so that instead of coming off at an angle, it comes off at a straight angle. Now it's actually a little higher on the outside edge right there. So we're angled up. So as that weld wears down, it should give us a little bit of extra time there. And you guys can see on the inside here just how much weld I actually went in there and, and laid in. So I just kind of started tacking it, building it up, and then I'm just taking a file here and uh, cleaning up that edge. So I think that's good. So I have the bracket reinstalled now, and this goes in there perfectly. And we'll try to fire it up now. There we go. So now it starts every time. So just a quick little fix. Just needed a little bit of weld a little bit more material put on there. And now the safety switch for the deck is engaging and everything is good. Well, that wraps up today's video. Nice quick fix. I just had to remove that bracket, give it a little bit of weld to build up the material. And whether that's a design flaw or the engineers just simply overlooked that part wearing out. If I was an engineer, I know that I would have probably recommended that piece be hardened steel so that it didn't wear out because you have to remember that every time you have to start your lawnmower, you have to pull on the deck handle and then set it into that upper position. So that corner on that very top position is gonna be wearing out every single time you go to start your machine. And after a while, you just see that it wears out enough to the point where the deck lowers just enough to disengage the safety switch, resulting in your machine not starting. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week. So be sure to stop on by next week, check channel out for new content. And as always guys, thanks for watching.